So Pete, um, I like to know when things go kind of wrong in my data center. Um, with vSAN, what do I have for alarms and how do I manage them? Yeah, so uh, vSAN has a number of alarms, uh, of course, just to make the administrator's life uh, much, much easier. They're managed in the very same way that other vCenter-based alarms are for, for vSphere. So it's really simple in that way. Um, all of the alarm definitions are held at the root of the vCenter server. So within uh, when you're in the vCenter UI, uh, you simply highlight the vCenter server, uh, and then you're going to see all of the alarm definitions. And there's just hundreds and hundreds of them when you incorporate things like vSphere and vSAN and so forth. Uh, but, uh, and then of course that listing, you can filter down based off of, um, you know, vSAN focused ones, the vSAN health checks that you see in Skyline health, uh, generally each one of those health checks has a correlating state for an alarm. So you can make it behave in the way that you want. If you want to be notified on some alarms versus others, uh, then you can do so in the very same way that you would with other alarms. You could send an SNMP trap, you could send an email, whatever the case may be. And I think it was in vSAN 7 update 2 or update 1, we introduced a new alarm that, um, and this is really geared for the, the administrators of really large environments where they didn't want to create individual uh, alarm actions on each and every state in each and every condition, there's a single alarm that will let them know that, hey, there's been some alarms that are triggered. You need to look. And that's a, a that's a nice little feature addition here in the recent editions of vSIM. So I, I like that one kind of roll up alarm because operationally one thing, um, you know, I'm kind of not, I, I like to play the lazy ops guy some days. And one thing that'd be really easy to do is you can, when you're setting up email alerts within the vCenter alarm definitions, if all I have to do is set up, just email me that alarm and tell mm -hmm. me that something's gone red and I can go look at it or, you know, go with that. Um, I also like that I can just click to suppress an alarm if it's something that's non-related. Um, there's also that option. So, but that's, that's nice that you can do that. Although you do have to remember, um, as everyone does, hopefully, that in order to get email alarms out of your vCenter server, you will need to configure the SMTP server or your relay for that. So, yeah, the other benefit of that roll up alarm uh, is that, you know, we uh, VMware really uh, prides ourselves in making sure that we introduce new alarms to uh, catch everything that is needed. And, and so if somebody was used to doing these individual alert notifications on the discrete uh, alarms, that wouldn't factor in some of the new alarms that would be introduced in a newer version. So yeah, that'd be this, tedious. Every every new release, it's I gotta yes, go find ten more yeah. alarms to create email alerts for. Just yeah, yeah. So this covers that. No, that's that's quite handy. So I also mm -hmm. like on the 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 health hit, that you actually have the history view, so you can go back and see what alarms were going off yesterday. Yeah, exactly. There was, there was a huge feature for us in what vSense have an update to. And uh, um, I think operationally, it's, it's, it, it's, it's really important for everybody to be aware that that functionality is there because that's how you troubleshoot. It's, it's like a DVR for your alarms. Mm -hmm.